I don't really believe in history. So it's difficult to break with history if you don't believe in history. I'm not any kind of expert on anything in terms of historical sources, but I'm interested in it and I do feel that I have permission at some level to play with it. One subject of some of my work is the fact that history is mutable, which is essentially denying history. So either you can believe there is this thing called history, which is in some general sense a linear narrative with a definable kind of thrust to it, or you could say that there's just a lot of different kind of stories. And so if you believe that, then you can't really break with them. You could only reassemble them in some other way, possibly, or you could add your own. Art is essentially a physical remnant of a moment, in a way. And you can never know anymore what that moment was. All you have is this thing that you have to, in some level, reinvent for yourself for it to have any meaning. We don't think about this necessarily that often, but when you go to just a normal fine arts museum, these are these objects that are completely divorced from their original intention to such a great degree that, in a certain sense, they have nothing to do with their history. They, we've destroyed the history quite literally. Like, to rip out a, an altarpiece from a church and to put it in a museum is to very violently deny its history and its meaning. But what's amazing is, is that the objects still have power anyway. So they contain in their physical nature another kind of history and then you can reinvent that for yourself. So in that sense, I think as an artist, I'm, I'm interested in this very thing of like how art works in that way, that art is, uh, has lots of ideas behind it and they somehow get embedded into the object and it's not a question of deciphering what the original ideas are, but it's a way of letting those ideas be useful for me now in another way.